Hello guys and welcome to another Albanian Balkan recipe. On today's video we are making petula which is pretty much fried dough and the closest you can get to an American recipe is donuts. Now you might ask what's the main difference? Well the difference is that donuts usually rely more on the sweet side whereas petula rely more on the savory side. Now of course you can eat them with sweet stuff such as jam and you can make a perfect combination of sweet and savory. It's going to be an easy recipe, so with that said, let's grab all the ingredients and start making petula. To make petula, we are only going to need 4 ingredients. 3 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 to 1.5 cup of water, half a teaspoon of yeast, and 1 tablespoon of salt. In a large bowl, let's combine all the ingredients together, adding the water little by little. As I have mentioned it before, we usually never know how much water a flower needs. Depending on the environment, depending on the humidity, sometimes it might need more and sometimes it might need less. So what we usually do is that we add half of the water first and then we continue to add little by little until we get the perfect texture. Now you might ask, what is the perfect texture? Well, the texture that we're looking for this time is for the dough to be soft and on the sticky side. Once the dough is ready, we are going to cover it with plastic wrap and then let it rest for about an hour. Now that the dough has rested, you're gonna notice that it becomes smoother but it is still sticky. We are going to work it with our hands for about 5 to 10 minutes and then put it back in the bowl, cover it up and let it rest in the fridge overnight. Now this part may be confusing because a traditional recipe usually calls for the dough to be cooked right away and not store it in the fridge overnight. So naturally you might be asking why are we storing the dough in the fridge overnight? The reason why we are doing so is because, different from a traditional recipe, which calls for 2 teaspoons of yeast, we are only using half a teaspoon of yeast. When we put the dough overnight in the fridge, what this is gonna do is that it's going to ferment the dough, which is going to give a special taste and also help the yeast to become more active. I personally do not prefer the taste of yeast, that's why I like the fermentation recipe better. After the dough has been resting overnight in the fridge, we are going to take it out, let it rest for another 2 hours in room temperature and now the dough is perfectly ready to be cooked. Using a wet spoon, we are going to cut the dough and then fry it in a pan full of oil on medium heat. Petulas are perfectly cooked once they get that brownish golden color. Make sure to flip them every 1 or 2 minutes. And now here is some ASMR. And the list of things I usually like to eat them with. If you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe below and I'll see you on the next one.